I'm Gaurav at Garden Talk Club and you are at the right place to know more about today's interesting topic that's 5G launch in India. So glad you are here. My name is Gaurav and I discuss on interesting topics. So if this interests you, consider subscribing to new content on my channel and ring the bell to get notified when new videos post up. So today's video is about 5G launch. So finally we have a 5 star oh, 5G start and that let's discover more on that. It's a major step in India telecom journey that's just wow it's 5g important points you need to know in would be covered in this topic here today prime minister modi launched the considerable faster and efficient 5g services this opens the path for faster internet via mobile throughout a country we have a step towards 5g considering the timelines the telecom infrastructure that had to be laid. So the launch of 5G services in India, that is today, 1st of October, is starting up. Plus, PM Modi ji will also inaugurate the sixth edition of India Mobile Congress for 2022. Great step forward. The Prime Minister will launch 5G in some few pilot cities. The 5G services will eventually roll out throughout the nation over the course of next few years. Point to note here, the ultra high speed internet service is anticipated to bring forth a lot of benefits, say economic prospects, social advantages, it will act as a transformative force for the country. Those are the key advantages. I will go into details. By 2035, the total cost of 5G effectiveness is predicted to reach 400 billion. 5G is expected to change the technological landscape for India. The second biggest smartphone market after China, that's India. India is the world's second largest smartphone market. How do we connect all of them? Thus, its impact on technology is projected to be significant. How? Great question. These smartphones connect to each other via the mobile telecom companies. Faster helps. Top few facts regarding India's 5G network you must know. The speeds offered by 5G will be several times quicker than those offered by 4G. It will also provide connection without any latency. Means that is the key here. It will also make possible for the billions of linked devices to exchange data. That is billions of devices. That covers not only our smartphones, but other devices such as Internet of Things, IoT devices that we call them in our daily aspect. In all of this, it is hoped that the increased access to fast Internet would also encourage new ideas from small and medium businesses, helping realize the Digital India goal. Up to now, speed was a limiting factor in the two-way communication. Of course, latency comes there. I personally feel solutions such as for e-healthcare is the single most important one that we hope to get out here. Are you with me up to here? As this is getting more interesting with the other use cases also. Others such as uh, mobile cloud gaming, linked vehicles, immersive augmented reality and metaverse experiences are the few more uh, solutions that we anticipate would be made possible by 5G in mobile. Use cases in tech, uh, what's the key is say, as I mentioned earlier, one of them is anticipated benefits is that it will make possible for the Internet of Things, IoT devices to connect, artificial intelligence devices to connect, machine to machine communication would be faster. Different, uh, different use case I can take is safety of workers in an under construction site, remotely monitored, but the action is immediate. That has to be low latency, which is the important aspect here. 
one more drone based farming which requires land large bandwidth for both way video should also be low latency one another which one which plays hard currently because of the very terrain in our country is immersive education experience real tech solutions such as uh, edge computing say robotics will also come up we see that there is lot of collaboration also in our universities and telecom bodies coming on to the commercial aspect which everyone would be waiting for reliance jio bharti airtel uh, gautam adani's company and vodafone idea all have placed bids for the spectrum this is approximately 1.5 lakh crore in those 5g option finally we have to see is the pricing that the consumer gets the businesses get the enterprise client gets uh, i want to leave you with few question here what would we want our government services to be enabled on 5g big question as private players would go for it but what would be our governments government agencies take on it that would be the key to drive this to rural areas also so this was a new 5g world of telecom that we would foresee be sure to like and subscribe my channel for updates